My name is Christian Eder. I'm the Director of Marketing for Congratech AG. And I'm happy to show you our new product, the iDotMX 6 based Q7 module. Before we step into the product, I'd like to explain in a short words what the advantages of the computer module concept. The concept itself separates the CPU functionality and the components around from the customized side of computing. That means it's a standard computer module which can be used for many, many different applications for many, many different customers and all customized or application-specific functionalities are placed on the carrier board. You see it below the CPU module. The form factor, in this case it's Q7, is standardized and it's exchangeable. What does it mean? This reduces the development costs because you can utilize a complete module which is already, already completely tested, ready to be operated and you can focus on developing the carrier board. Of course this is faster, so your time to market can be reduced extremely. You can react much faster to market trends if you want to scale up, scale down, use different platforms, different technologies. All of those are available on the computer module form factors, such as Q7, and you can easily utilize it. That means it's a highly scalable product range, and you can secure your investment because you can update the technology without redoing everything from scratch. Your engineering sources can be focused on your own core of IPs. That means carrier board carries your special IOs which are required for your markets. And of course you're open for second source. Modules are available not only from Congotech. Here I show a short example here how you can create a complete product family create one carrier board, you can use multiple CPU modules, maybe you have two, two different housing, three different panel sizes, different software versions. Out of this example, you can easily create a lot of catalog variants, which means you can easily create an entry-level model, a high-end model, and a mid-range model, then you have a complete product family, very good for marketing purposes. When does it make sense to use modules? So if you don't have special requirements, a standard board or a single board computer might do the job. You don't have to do full custom design for your special requirements. That means full custom design can make sense, but based on our experience, it shows a project size it should exceed clearly more than 100,000 units in order to make price. Below this, in the range of roughly one to 100,000 units, the computer module approach is the most cost-efficient approach you can get. Q7 is a standard which is in place already for a couple of years. It was initiated by Congatech and some other key players in the market back in February 2008. It is an open standard. In the meanwhile, we reached the revision 2.0 and this revision also allows to support ARM-based processors. It was just a minor update but now Q7 is fully uh, exchangeable, so you, that means Q7 products on x86 or ARM-based uh, processors are possible. From now on, the Q7 specification is hosted by a new independent consortium called SCAT. So you will find all the details on the sget.org webpage. On this slide you see a quick overview about the interfaces, interfaces which are defined here by Q7. So it's, it's just very forward-looking differential fast serial interfaces such as PCI Express, SATA, but also new video interfaces as HDMI, 
Gigabyte Ethernet, STIO, SATA, CAN, all of those are available in a small form factor. It's 5 volt powered only. This allows for quite simple carrier board designs. The name of the Q7 comes from the size. The Q means quadratic or perfect square and 7 stands for 7 by 7 centimeters. In the meanwhile, with the 2.0 specification, all even smaller versions are possible as 70 by 40 millimeter is defined in here as well. With the 2.0 specification, USB 3 got introduced here as a forward looking interface to the Q7 spec and also LVDS can be used for embedded display port. This is also a forward looking thing because it's predicted that VGA and LVDS as video interfaces will disappear within the next couple of years. One important information for you might be a new connector maker, Yamaichi, now manufactures MXM connectors for Q7 as well. And this connector is completely automotive certified. That means full extended temperature, high shock and vibration applications can be realized. This picture shows the sizes which are allowed here now in the new specification for Q7. On the left hand is the 7x7 7 and on the right hand the micro Q7 is 40 by 70 millimeters. Now let's step into the product itself. The Conga QMX6 is the latest Q7 module based on Freescale's iDotMX6 processor. This is what the module looks like, again 7x7 7 7 centimeters, high density of components. The processor, the iDotMX6 processor is available in different versions. A single core a dual core and even quad core processors are available. So I don't step into the details here in the block diagram, but on the left hand you see the most important feature set here. It got a good, excellent graphics here, HD graphics. It got PCI Express lanes, LVDS support, SATA, HDMI, and even more interfaces. It's a perfect fit here to the Q7 specification because most of the interfaces which are required for a Q7 module are already directly supported here by the chip. As software, Windows Embedded CE, Ubuntu and even Google Android are possible on this platform. This is a close-up view on the processor itself. So the power consumption is that low that for most applications it can run completely without cooling. Here again the complete overview about the interfaces. Important for some application might be that CAN is directly supported from this chip. No additional IOs have been necessary. The only additional logic which is here on the board is a USB hub because the i.mx6 does not support enough USB ports as required for the Q7 specification. And you see this here on the block diagram, most of the interfaces directly come here from the chip. The board itself does support two up to four gigabyte of DDR3 memory. It got onboard eMMC flash as boot device or possible boot device up to eight gigabytes. And also a small micro SD slot where you can extend the flash memory as well. How to design a carrier board based on Q7 modules? Of course, there are shortcuts how to make it based on the free available standard. So, of course, download the standard from the Q7 or the SCAD web pages, uh, and it's a good starting point. Going to the Conga Tech site, you find much more tools to support your design. We have complete starter kits, we have evaluation carrier boards with complete documentation, which includes, of course, schematics, and those can be used as a perfect blueprint for your own designs. We have battery managers, so with charge chargers here for smart batteries, 
flat panel adapters for LVDS or other displays, and of course multiple cooling solutions depending on your application needs. As a special service, we provide for a quick start into the ARM world a complete starter kit with a small size carrier board, an i.mx6 based uh, Q7 module, and also a software package with a complete Linux implementation adapted uh, with the right bootloader, all of that here to this combination. This is a very easy out of the box starting point to get your new design based on this attractive platform started quick and easily. On top of that we have lots of documentations, of course the specification, we have a carrier board design guide which helps you of course to overcome the first uh, obstacles here in a, in a new design and of course schematics and don't forget about this, our personal support we can provide for you. Software support is a very important issue. Software support is a very important issue. In order to provide best support, which is possible, we're partnering with Adineo Embedded. This is a company uh, which is in this marketplace for many, many years now. And we share the support here for different operating systems with Adineo. So you can get support directly from Adineo, directly from Congatec, but we team up. So Windows Embedded, Ubuntu, or even Android are possible. Last not least, I'd like to emphasize uh, open tool or open programming environment, OpenZL. CI.MX6 dual and quad core computers have a highly efficient graphic core. Or it's more than one, it's in fact it's three different cores for different types of applications. Most of the industrial applications do not utilize the 3D engine at all. And this engine, as you can see on the slides, has four shading units with a total computing performance of more than 20 gigaflops. This is an immense computing power and you can utilize this quite easily if you use the right, let's say, programming tools, OpenZL. OpenZL at the end is a C, uh, uh, C programming language, it's an environment, free available environment where you can program both sides, C. CPUs as you are used to it, and also the GPUs, that means the, gra the uh, graphic units, the graphic processor units, which are available for the 3D acceleration. This is an op open royalty-free standard. Many, many companies support that you're not tied to one or the other company can really use the good hardware which is already there to boost performance for your application. Of course this brings most advantage for applications which can be split into multiple tasks to be operated in parallel. Practically speaking, the one environment generates the host code, that's the typical code which runs on the main CPU, x86 or ARM based, and uh, also the kernel code, this is uploaded to the graphics side of the CPU, to the GPUs, and it's ex exclusively operated on this side. To summarize, Q7 is a very good platform, you can cross x86 to ARM and vice versa. The concept to separate the computing core from the customized application brings a lot of benefits and this is worth to think about it. I think there are a lot of applications, a lot of advantages which also can be used for your application, for your potential application. So that's my quick overview. If you're here at the trade show, make sure you pass by or you find all of that information at our website www.congatech.com